Hi there, I'm here with Antonio Yenko from the Vaughn Film Festival. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. I'm actually really excited being a um, film major in school and, uh, and doing film that I didn't really know much about the Vaughn Film Festival. It's your second year, so you're here to tell us all about it, some exciting stuff coming up. Very exciting. Yeah, so tell us about the festival. April 2nd to 4th is when the festival takes place. We have two days of screenings at the Cineplex Colossus and then our awards nights at the Riviera Park. So we're encouraging filmmakers to come see their film but also experience what it's like to see the glitz and glamour of an awards night and see them get the recognition through that. So we're so excited about the formula that we've put together and going into our second year we're looking at bringing in just about 2,000 people into the festival. Wow, so what makes this film festival maybe different from others we support the independent artists we truly do uh, when you support short films especially it's usually the independent artist that has the budget to maintain a short film um, we've also encouraged student filmmakers this year so we're really supporting the youth and giving them the opportunity to say maybe I can turn this artistic dream of mine becoming a filmmaker sound editor, sound editor so on and so forth into a career reality and we're really pushing on that and supporting the youth and the independent filmmaker and really giving them the opportunity to say this is how I can turn this vision of this creative dream of mine again into a career reality and we're excited about that. And it's really great that you're doing that because reality is you're saying that the arts has really kind of been lost with regards to students in high school which there are so many I'm sure talented individuals that want to get into this industry so by doing what you're doing is such a, a great thing for them. Well that's the thing we were both me and my business partner a co-founder of the Vaughn Film Festival Mark Pagliroli when we started this we knew that we had to encourage filmmakers and the youth to be a part of it we're both high school students in the city from the city of Vaughan and we didn't see much of an opportunity for film and there wasn't much of an excitement for it so our April 2nd screenings the first block at 630 at Colossus were allowing filmmakers to submit Vaughan high school students to submit imagine being a Vaughan high school student and seeing your film on the big screen at Colossus very there's exciting. nothing more very very exciting so tell us how you get tickets and um, on the website obviously list of films and everything that's going to be the schedule will be up there vonfilmfestival.com is the site that you can visit we have all of the information about the uh, dates you can purchase tickets directly from the site you can also call the number uh, on there there's an email you can contact so there's any form of uh, every form of information that you need for the festival on there as well and we're going to be announcing our film lineup I know you talked about that on March 3rd at our media launch at Colossus so we're announcing the film lineup then the winner of the student initiatives uh, we have a giant art reel initiative where we're allowing Vaughn High School students to compete to build a giant reel. The winning art department gets $2,000 towards their high school's art department. So we're so excited about that and supporting the arts again and getting the students and the youth excited about a film festival in their backyard. And just so everyone is clear now, they've are, submissions have already been done, right? Yeah. But just for your third annual next year, you said September of 2014 is deadline for submission. So if people to start thinking of ideas now and whatnot and get started Why on not? that, right? Why not? 100%. September is when it opens. It's going to close again January 31st of next year. So we encourage people, if they have a project now, we're going to be accept accepting projects 2013 and 2014. So if you have a project that's done now that you haven't submitted to this year, you still have the opportunity to do it again in September. So we're really excited about getting even more submissions next year. This year we had just about 90 submissions to the festival. Wow. And we're screening about 25. And lastly, of course, the organization behind it, it is a not-for-profit. Vaughn Film Festival is, is a not-for-profit Which is most important yep. in the community. Of course. And we, our, our mandate is to give back to the community and give back to the youth, get them excited about a festival again in their backyard. We also have our awards night, April 4th. Tickets are still on sale for that. We're more than 50% sold out on that. And that's the glitz and glamour. You do the whole red carpet uh, opportunity. You get the filmmakers the opportunity to see what that's like. It gets them so excited, and it gets them excited at a young age to see the possibility. It's so great. You're doing great for the community and for all those film buffs and aspiring who knows what can come out of York exactly. region. Exactly. You know what I mean? So Oscar winners. Yeah, you said it. There's so much talent yeah. here. Speaking of Oscar winners, we had an Oscar winning film submit to last year's festival. So the caliber of is films there. is there. Perfect, Antonio. Thank you so much and best of luck. Thank you very much for having me. And thank you for watching.